Jessica. One minute into the second half, Gary Charles will find Xiao Pinto for this beautiful header into the upper right corner to put Benfica up 1-0. Big score for the visitors. Great ball in from Charles. Here's the reverse angle, or the angulo inverso. It's a goal from any angle. Benfica looking for more with Xiao Pinto's shot saved by Miroslav Zitniak. Jorge Cadete's shot hits the post as Benfica almost gets their second. Benfica's keeper Michel Prudhomme comes off his line to make the great save, but Liao's long shot is deflected out by Luis Philippe Andre, avoiding the equalizer. Andre, eight minute action, the ball bounces around to Sergio Nunes, who will take the cross, past the bad defensive clear, and into the net for the equalizer one minute before time. On this replay, look at all the red jerseys of the Benfica defense. The ball finds its way in, and Nunes drills it home, and Liaria. Up 1-0 early. Chris, we've seen this week in, week out. Kwame continues to find the back of the net. A little shake and bake, move to the right, a move to the left, into the net. He's just having a great year, really helping Boa Vista out with his scoring. Kwame with the celebration. Controversy a little later, a handball in the box by the Setu ball player. No call. Just before halftime, Hui Carlos will loft in the beautiful chip to Billy Kautuma, who heads in the equalizer for Setu ball. We're tied up at 1-1. What a big goal right before halftime. Carlos with a great ball in. Excellent header. We are tied at one. Later in the second half, Jan Tamote fouled by Elio Sosa, who earns himself a red card and a ticket out of the game. Boa Vista on the attack again, late in the game. The shot saved by the keeper as Boa Vista and Setubal end up knotted up at one apiece. And finally, Salgueros had the daunting task of playing Porto. Third minute action. Mario Jardel, Europe's leading scorer, showing a little skill here. Shaking and bacon with a nice cross to the Slovenian, Slako Zahovic. He puts Porto up three minutes in. Jardel says, I'm not just a scorer, you know what? I can pass two. It's 1-0 Porto. Salguero's player Paulinho will foul Hui Correra right here in the box. A definite mistake by Salgueros it sets up a penalty kick. You can see right here, Paulinho with the high kick into Ouch. the rib cage. That's gotta hurt. Jardel on tap, hits the post. He doesn't do that very often, and the defense clears. Fernando Santos can't believe it, 36 minute action. Nuno Capuccio will find, guess who? The best scorer in Europe, Mario Jardel, showing why right there as Porto goes up 2-0. And Chris, it's a classic Jardel goal. He's around the net, follies it in. Beautiful shot. 11 minutes from time. The dynamic duo strikes again. It's Capucho finding a streaking Jardel for the easy tap-in and Porto's third, his 29th of the season. Great setup by Capucho, unselfishly giving it up. Jardel doesn't make a mistake. Two minutes later, Abilio's cross is deflected to Felipe Candido. He gets a nice one-time volley as Salgueros gets one back. Nice job by Salgueros here, but once again, it's too little too late, and Porto wins it 3-1. Time to check all the scores from Portugal. Bovista State to ball draw. Sporting beats Maritimo 3-1. There's the Porto 3-1 win over Salgueros. Rio Ave beats Vieira Mar. Ferenza Amadora in a 1-1 draw. Same score for Guimeras and lowly Academica. Alverca beats Chavez, 3-1. Lieria Benfica in the 1-1 draw. Campo Manarenza shuts out Sporting Braga, 2-0. Let's go to the standings. Porto now with a three-point lead on Boa Vista, six points over Benfica. Fourth place Sporting Lisbon is creeping up on third place Benfica. Seventh to 11th clubs remain the same. Rio Ave has climbed from 14th place up to 12th. 
And at the bottom, Ferenca and Bieramar both drop a spot. Alverca moves past Chavez into 16th. The French artistic community waxed eloquently on Zinedine Zidane and Fab.